want to take enough time this morning to talk to you about these statin drugs. Not only a matter of blood clots, these statin drugs like Lipitor, Zocor, Pravacol, there are all kinds of, several of them. They are very widely used and people are split about how they, what they feel about them. Many people don't want to take any drugs and I don't blame them because in every drug there's a little poison. But these statin drugs are extremely important. The most recent re uh, research shows that people who take statin drugs have a significantly lower incidence of overall death, heart attack, stroke, blood clots, you name it. There even a, sus uh, a suspicion that they help Alzheimer's disease. The interesting thing is that these cholesterol-lowering drugs also work in people who have normal cholesterol. People who are at high risk by virtue of other things, whether they're diabetic or have a family history or have high blood pressure, people who take these statin drugs, even with a normal cholesterol, are protected. Now, why is that so? That's so because these drugs have a double action. Lowering cholesterol is only one part of it. They also are anti-inflammatories. And we now believe that the most important cause of disease of the, of the vessels anywhere, in the brain, the eye, the kidney, the most important thing is inflammation. And these statin drugs control inflammation. <clears throat> now, the problem is that they are not always well tolerated. Uh, I would say that about 10% of people who take these statin drugs on a regular basis develop muscle aches and pains. So you go to your doctor and you tell him you have the. What do you do? If you suspect that it's due to, to the statin drug, stop it for a couple of weeks 